Okay, so I wanted to talk about adjustment layers and show exactly how um, to open those up and actually work with them. So I'm going to, uh, I've got my Marin Delphine PSD open, um, it's the kind of demonstration file which we were using before. I'm just going to open up the uh, the folder called Finished Image, which is the collection of, uh, of uh, uh, layers which make up the uh, finished image. Now you notice we're looking at the original image here, um, and that's the uh, very top one here which I can toggle on and off. So what we're talking about <coughs> when, when I say adjustment layers is um, layers which enable you to change you know, mainly colour correction um, um, but some other aspects as well. Um, if you notice my, where my cursor is at the bottom of the uh, layers palette there's this little circle with a kind of a half black half white and these are all inside here are all the different types of uh, adjustment layers you can use. Um, the main ones I, I personally use um, uh, you know, quite a bit are, le are levels. Um, sometimes I use color balance. Um, I use hue and saturation quite a bit, um, and channel mixer to create my black and white images. If I'm sort of uh, want to make a kind of a black and white image from a color photo, um, there's also some other things like uh, photo filter to give it um, a particular like daylight balance, um, particular color cast. Um, there's a few others in there which um, I'm sure other people may find um, useful. Um, I just don't tend to use that much. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you how to actually activate those. Um, I'm going to work on the original image, so I'm just going to turn off this uh, finished image. <coughs> so here we go. Here's, here's the basic image that we've uh, that I've been working on, um, and this is what um, you know it looked like when it first I first took the photo. So. What I kind of want to do first of all is just add um, an adjustment layer to this, and I'll show you how to do this. So it's dead simple. So I've se while selecting the the object, I'm just going to click on the uh, on the uh, adjustment layer icon um, at the bottom, and I'm going to just select hue and saturation, and that's going to create this box here, um, and it's also um, pops up another box which is this one here, and this is uh, if I move this just out of the way a little bit. Um, and this is like the control um, control palette for um, this hue and hue and hue and saturation um, la layer adjustment. So in here, I've got I can you can see if I modify these, it changes the colours uh, accordingly, and their saturation uh, and lightness. <coughs> so let's set those back to zero. Um, same could be said if I cancel that, and I'll delete that. I could instigate a, a levels change so I could click on the levels and that's made a levels and I could maybe crush the blacks maybe crush those blacks bring in the white point adjust the middle point so this is a histogram um, just to kind of quickly give you a lowdown and this this kind of mountain that's created is the representation of the data which is inside this image so this is going from this side here from the left side that's all the blacks going right the way through all the way to the whites so we see that there's not much information in the whites and that's because there's not that much white in the image there's a little bit maybe around her face but by and large there's not that much the majority of the image um, is in the kind of the middle area where, um, of like the brightness kind of uh, of the levels so by moving in this this black point it means that all this information here whether it was black um, or, or Sort of slightly off black, it's now telling the machine to actually make that black. And what that does in effect is, um, is it, it's crushing the blacks. So you can see in her hair, essentially, it's turning all the kind of not quite black um, and sort of darker shades of brown. And by pushing that little this little slider, it's actually making those black. Um, and this gives you kind of a high contrast image. You've got to be careful though that you don't sort of push it too much. Um, you can see that it's kind of gone a bit muddy and possibly a bit too much so it's a kind of fine line um, there's a useful tip you can sort of toggle on off the preview to see what your image sort of looked like before and after and you'll notice that it kind of almost I always find that sometimes it's almost like looking that's the original image that's the new one it's almost as if someone's l taken off a layer of grey or a layer of dirt off the uh, front of the lens um, and that's what you're kind of trying to achieve um, you're trying to kind of keep the uh, keep it almost the same, but just emphasise it a little bit um, with levels. This is really useful. Um, 
there again you can sort of go into the different channels of the RGB and you work, work, can work on just the red channel, just the green and just the blue and sometimes that's really useful for just making sort of slight tonal adjustments but as it stands I'm just going to make um, you know just adjustments there so I'm going to hit OK and that's that's it that's the uh, that's the adjustment there you can there again you can turn it on and off what I want to add about this adjustment layer is that at the moment it's affecting everything below it in the layer order so if you look at the layers palette um, everything below it is being adjusted now there is instances where you don't want it to do that you want it to just as, you know adjust the layer directly below it. So in this case, I just want to directly adjust the original image, and I don't want to adjust anything below it. Um, the way to do that is to um, is to uh, change what it's doing. Now, if I hold the Alt key down, you'll notice that if I hover between the two layers, I get this new kind of icon up, which is two circles with a kind of like a hashed area and a blacked area in the middle. Now, if I click on that. All that does is it changes the relationship of that adjustment layer from adjusting everything below it to now it's adjusting just the one object below it. So it's just um, changing this original image. Um, and that's really useful when you're compositing lots and lots of items and you want it to just apply to an individual layer and not everything else below it. Um, so that's something to bear in mind.